gentlemen. We have gathered here today. As we do every year. To bring together our united expertise and to continually build upon our successes. Together, we four have forged an empire. Together, there is nothing that cannot be obtained. Nothing can stand in our way. Together, we are strong. Aye, times are good. There's no denying that. And long may they continue to be so. Aye, here, yeah, yeah. together we've grown strong. Sure, we've had our ups and downs along the way, but there's no denying. This joint venture which we began so long ago has proved to be undeniably a prosperous one. I remember before we began, when times were hard. I agreed. We've never had it so good. Aye. Who'd have thought thirty years ago we'd all be here now, living the life of luxury? Aye. In them days we'd be glad to have the price of a cup of tea. A cup of cold tea? Without milk or sugar? Or tea? Aye. In a filthy cracked cup and all. We never used to have a cup. We had to drink out of rolled up paper. Oh, the best that we could manage was to suck on a piece of damp cloth. But you know, we were happy in those days, even though we were poor. Aye, because we were poor. My old dad used to say to me, money doesn't buy you happiness. Eh, hey, right. I was happier then when I had nothing. Aye, we used to live in a tiny house with great big holes in roof. House? You were lucky to have a house. We used to live in one room, all 126 of us, with no furniture. Half the floor was missing. We were all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling. You were lucky to have a room. We used to live in a corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a corridor. Would have been a palace to us. We used to live in an old water tank inside a troll cave. We got woken up every morning by having a load of rotting bones dumped all over us. House. <laughs> well, when I say house, it was only a hole in the ground covered by a piece of goat hide, but it was a house to us. <laughs> we were evicted from our hole in the ground. We had to go and live in a lake. You were lucky to have a lake. There were 160 of us living in a small shoebox in middle of road. Garbo box. Aye. You were lucky. We lived for three months in a brown paper bag. We used to have to get up at six in the morning, clean the bag, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work down meal for 14 hours a day. And when we got home, our dad would thrash us to sleep with his belt. Oh, luxury. We used to have to get out of the lake at three o'clock in the morning, clean the lake, eat a handful of hot gravel, then go to the mill every day for twopence a month, come home, and Dad would beat us around the head with a broken bottle if we were lucky. While we had it tough, we used to get up out of the shoebox at twelve o'clock at night and lick road clean with dung. We worked 24 hours a day down at mill for four pence every six years, and when we got home, our dad would slice us in two with a bread knife. Right. I had to get up in the morning at 10 o'clock at night, half an hour before I went to bed, work 29 hours a day at Dow Mill, and pay Mill Owen for permission to come to work, and when we got home, our dad would kill us and dance about our graves singing Hallelujah. Aye, but you try and tell the young people that today, <laughs> and they won't believe you. Aye. 
<clears throat> yeah. 